Hey, this is Jabril, AKA Mr. Think Outside the Box. And for the last seven years, I've been traveling all around the world with my team, documenting some of the most unique experiences and having the best time. Now today, for the first time in my 30 years of living, I'm gonna have to share a pretty unfortunate uh, situation. And so my videos are always pretty positive, but the reality is something, well actually the most unfortunate situation of my entire life, but not only my life, a lot of my team's life, and it changed our life forever. Uh, so we were recently in Johannesburg, uh, South Africa. And so just to rewind before that, about four months ago, um, five months, maybe four or five months ago, we're in Cape Town. And we had like the best time ever. Um, just memories for a lifetime. And then so I was so excited when my friend invited me to go back to uh, Joe Book. I was like, ah, oh, I got so much stuff to do. But I was like, yo, Africa to the world. And I want to share how amazing Africa is with the world. And so I've wanted to put together like this campaign just showing all the beauty on the continent. And so I was going back to South Africa now. And, <laughs> man, I, I was going to prepare a bunch of things for this video, but I just wanted to come to you from the heart, one take, no editing, well, a little bit of editing, but, like, there's no cuts. What happened was, man, I've been hesitant about sharing this because I just know the kind of impact that it's going to have, but I was robbed at gunpoint in my bed. So I was sleeping, it was about 2.30 a.m. I wake up to, don't move, don't move. Out to bed, out to bed. And <laughs> let's just say that woke me up pretty quickly. And, but before I go to the details, you know, about the robbery, I, man, I just have to share everything in detail, but before I do that, I want to share the amazing time that I actually had in Joburg. Because like 97, or I'd say most people in Joburg are warm, they're friendly, they're amazing people. It's a beautiful city. And like I said, up until the moment I had a gun in my face, I was having the best time of my life. You know, hanging out with friends I haven't seen in a while, meeting new friends, meeting so many um, eating some amazing food, seeing these amazing sights, um, doing all these amazing activities. And we came to make a video sharing how amazing the Joburg culture is. And so, unfortunately, then our hard drive um, got stolen as well. But let me actually just take you through the whole situation, um, kind of rewind. And because I make these videos like I'm making them for my friends. And so a lot of you might have seen, you know, the good time I was having on Instagram, the pictures that I was posting. And so if you don't hear the full story, I would feel some type of way if you were put in some type of danger without being aware of like basically like the full scope. So I went out there to make two videos. First video was I wanted to highlight how amazing you know, the black people were in Joburg. So I met this guy Bob on a plane from Cape Town going to Joburg and then he was just telling me how one of his business partners um, was also in the finance space. And I was just kind of asking, I was like, yo, what's it like with like black relations with like white and black people? Because he was a white dude, but his partner was black. And so I was just like asking, you know, what it's like. Think, yo, whenever you come to Joe Berg, hit me up. And so I was going there to make a video on her. And so she was one of the most amazing <laughs> individuals around, you know, making six figures, she's got the Range Rover, because people have like this perception of Africa of like poverty and all this negativity, right? So I wanted to come and make these videos sharing another side of Africa. And then there was this other guy, he basically, he started out as like, um, kind of like a recycler, and then he got um, some funding and then had his own like recycling plant, had his own crazy business and was also helping out the community. So that was like one of the stories that I was going to tell. And then I was also just going to tell our experience while being there. And so I can't really do that because we don't have all of the footage. But now I'm just going to share with you in detail what happened on that night and maybe how you can avoid um, a situation happening to you. So to rewind even a little bit further, a couple of days before I went to South Africa, my cousin, who's like, you know, a pretty famous musician in the world, was telling me how his friend uh, Davido, when he came to Joburg, was robbed at gunpoint. And so, like, you know, a few guys in cars surrounded him, AK-47s, bah, 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 
break out the window, take like their watches, take the bag with like the, you know, all the stuff that they have. And, you know, all David O can think about is the time is like, yo, am I going to see my daughter again? And so my cousin's warning me. He's like, yo, I'm telling you, these dudes in Joburg, they're not the same. And he's like, they just don't care. And I was like, yo, I don't wear Rolexes. I'm chill. Like, and, and then he was also he's like, yo, then a music director that he also knows, I, I won't mention his name because that, that wasn't a public story, also got robbed. You know, that was like a home invasion, got tied up with, you know, like that, uh, like that box cutter kind of plastic. And then he lost like $70,000 worth of gear, like red camera, whole bunch of stuff. And then so like that was playing in my mind, but I was just like, yo, like we're not going out there flexing, like we're chill. And so we're out there for like five or six days now. And six days, we're laughing, we're joking. Like we rented this beautiful home in one of the nicest areas. And then we all go to bed happy, just chilling, smiling. A couple hours after going to bed, I'm sleeping, then I wake up to, don't, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. And then I'm trying to go for myself, don't touch it, give me the phone, give me the phone. And I'm like, oh, like this is a real situation right now. And I'm like, he's like, out the bed, out the bed. And I'm like, holy like, hold like. Like, is this happening right now? Like, first, like, that part of, like, just, like, panic and, like, like, yo, no, this is, like, this is game time. Like, this is really happening. You know, stay cool. It's the old school rule. So, you know, I get out of bed. He's like, get on your knees. So I'm on my knees. He's like, pointing a gun at me, like, yo, where's the money? Where's the jewelry? Where's this? I was like, yo, this is what I got. Like, here's that. And then the next thing that happens, like, the house owner was actually on the property because, like, she had, like, two big-ass dogs, and she couldn't take them anywhere, so she was staying inside um, of, like, the maid's quarters um, with her dogs. And then so she saw, because she was up late, she saw the rap, and she was trying to come alert us, but they caught her, and then so sh she was brought into the, every, like, I was in my room, and then they brought her into my room, and then um, they bring my other friend, um, Mike, into uh, the room, and then after that, um, it's a few minutes later, they're like, who else is in the house? Well, it's like, who else is in the house? And it, cause there's three gunmen. And then, so she's like, you know, there's, uh, there's two more people in the house. One is upstairs, another's in another room. And so they go upstairs and um, they get Anthony. And then so Anthony's like, <laughs> yo, I can laugh about this now. Like Anthony's like a deep ass sleeper, right? And so he's like, ooh, like the way he was explaining it to me, like, Oh, 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 and he thought it was like a prank or something. Like, nah, nah, nah. Like, boom, like, you know, jacking with the gun, like, mother, kiss up. This is not a game. And so then he's like, oh. And then so, like, they're kind of roughing him up. And then, like, he gets to the room, like, his shirt's all ripped. And then, like, he's been through, like, you know, they're dragging him down the stairs, like, and they drag him in the room. And then this motherfucker pass out. I'm like, oh, bruh, like, <laughs> don't do this right now. And then so I'm like, I don't know what he's going to do. Wake up in a rage. Like, he's just like face out. Like, I'm like, oh my God. Like, and they're like, where's the money? And then like, because they're not getting everything that they want. I think they're going to find, they're thinking they're going to find more stuff. They want more jewelry. And then I'm like, yo, like, this is what I got. Like, here's the backpack. Here's this. And then the woman's like, yo, here's what I have. Here's that. And then like, he's getting so angry. Like, and you can, I think he's kind of high on some stuff too. And so, and he's like, like the other two guys are kind of ransacking the house and the one guy's like in here. And he's like, I don't want to hurt you, but if you don't cooperate. And then he's like, oh. and then next thing he knows, boom. And then he shoots. So I'm literally like two feet and this dude shoots. And I'm like, oh my God. Yo, you dumb mother You almost just shot me. And I think he did it on accident, right? Like I, he was so angry, just went, and then, I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm really, I'm really might go right now. I really might go. And then, so then the other, like, robber comes, you know, rushing in, like, oh, 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 what happened? What happened? He's like, no, 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 it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm like, oh my God, like, yo, like, are we for real? And then at that point, Mike is like, yo, this, this, this ain't the game no more. He's like, I have a thousand dollars cash in my room. Uh, I can take you to it. <laughs> I'm like, like, yo, is this a movie right now? And then so he's like, yeah, yeah, come with me, come with me. And then so he takes him to um, Mike's room. 
get some money. But when, when the gunshot went off, and then JP, because I was like, JP's like, because I was like, yo, where's JP at? So when he heard the gunshot, he was like, oh, snap. Like, what's happening? This man's watching Game of Thrones in his room, chilling, watching Game of Thrones. Why they went to his room, I'll never know. Maybe he set it up. No. <laughs> and so he's watching Game of Thrones, right? And then when he hears Mike in the hallway, Mike's like, all I have is like 15,000 rounds, that's all I have. And then so at that point, JP says, okay, let me lock my door. I think we get robbed. <laughs> and then so then he goes in his bathroom, is like, in his bathroom, then he starts messaging his friend back home. So our music composer, Isaiah, he's messaging Isaiah, and he's like, yo, I think we're getting robbed. Uh, like, can you like hit that US embassy, the police? He's like, why don't you call the music? Well, I don't know the number. And like, so, and then Isaiah is really religious, like, hallelujah, right? So he, he sends, like, swear to God, so he sends JP Bible verses, and he's like, just read these, you're going to be okay. So I don't know if JP is reading the Bible verses or just thinking about how he's going to survive, but yes, Isaiah sent JP Bible verses. So thank you, Isaiah, for those verses. And like, you know, on a serious note, man, I got to thank my moms, like, while we on the topic of the prayers. I know she prays for me, like, and my brother every single day. And I really do feel like that helped. And so shout out to my mom. All right, back to the story. Um, so then they come back in the room, and, they, you know, they're getting everything, and then they're ransacking. And then I, I'm like, yo, what the like, And then so then they tie us up, right? So I don't even, like, literally, um, well, you'll see, like, I did actually, so I did this video a few hours after I got robbed, and you'll see like a link in the description if you want to watch it raw, like literally three hours after I got robbed, I was like, yo, I need to talk about this experience. And so, but you're seeing like the B-roll of how we kind of got tied up, and I was like that, and everyone was tied up. And so now here's where the situation gets crazy. Well, like other than the bullet that he shot off before, he's like, so we're face down, and now all three of them are in the room. And now they're pointing the guns at the back of our head. So we're literally face down and they're pointing the guns at the back of our head. Like, and the one guy's like, no, kill them, kill them. And then I'm like, oh, damn. Like, for real, bro? Like, this how I'm going to go out? <laughs> I was like, yo, this how I'm going to go out? And then the other guy's like, no, no, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's like, where are the car keys? Where are the car keys? And then um, so I'm like, he literally, and then they leave um, out the door. And then so we're just listening for the, for the car. Nothing's happening, nothing's happening. And then so I'm like, forget it, it's three, four minutes. So then I'm like, Ugh! and like I break free with my hands. And then after that, um, I, I can't break through my legs. They're they too tight with the ropes. Everyone else still tied up. So I remember I have a Gillette razor inside of my, my luggage. So I literally get my Gillette razor and I'm like, do, 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 and like do my feet. And then I'm untying everyone else with the Gillette razor. And then we go, um, after we all, like, you know, hit the alarm and everything, um, and then that's all going. But then my main concern after this is JP. So JP is nowhere to be found. Everyone else is here. And I'm like, where's JP? Like, I think they've kidnapped him now. Like, I thought they kidnapped him. I'm like, oh, damn. Because, like, why wouldn't he be in there with us? And I was like, fuck, they've kidnapped him. Like, I'm like, so the thoughts going through my head are like, Damn, like, what am I going to tell his mom? Like, what, like, I'm just like, damn, man. I'm like, damn, my homie, like, 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 it's kind of crazy, like, looking back at, like, the situation right now. And then so I'm at his door, like, yo, JP, yo, yo, JP. No response. We're like, yo, JP, if you're in there, say something, bro. And then he's like, no response. Yo, JP. And this is going on for, like, two minutes. And I was like, yo, they're like, open the door. I was like, I can't, man. What if they killed him in there? Like, I, I can't do it. Like, I can't, I can't bear to see that. Like, I can't do it. And then we're like, yo, JP, they're gone. Like, yo, come out if, if you're in there. And then this mom peep open his door. Oh, he went like this. He was like, oh, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> I was like, yo, what's up? What's good? <laughs> He's like, Bro, man, he like, he puts his hands through his hair like this. I remember, like, he's like, <sighs> and I'm like, yo, what happened? He's like, bro, I was watching Game of Thrones, right? 
And then so I was talking to Maria, like, you know, back home. And then, then once I like heard the gunshot, I was like, oh, snap. Like, and then I heard Mike in the hallway. And so I locked the door, but like right now he's like, I thought, um, I thought like they had guns to y'all head and y'all were trying to trick me to come out. And he's like, I want going, like I want going. And then so I just stayed my ass quiet. And I was like, oh, stop. And then we're like, Phew. like we just feel like that sense of relief. Like for me, all I could do was smile. I was like, yo, we left with our lives. But then I started going through like everything. We're like, oh, shit. now what did they take? Yo, he's savage. They took like my 18 year old bottle of McKellen whiskey. I was like, yo, how you gonna take the man's whiskey? They took my cologne. I was like, I just bought this bomb nine cologne. You gonna take my cologne? They took my Toomey bag. They took my Bose speaker. How am I gonna listen to music? But now on a serious note, man, they took like, they took like $40,000 worth of stuff, like drones, cameras, computers, like they, they, they cleaned out like a lot of stuff. And then what ended up happening is, this is like, it's almost unbelievable. So when they were running out, they didn't leave with the car, thank God, because <laughs> here's the crazy thing. So when I, cause I, we rented a car, and so I was like, when they was like, let me get the car keys, what's going through my head, I was like, damn, I didn't get full coverage. Like, and um, but so they took uh, you know, they took the cameras, but when they was running out the back, they dropped like a five thousand dollar camera, like just in the backyard when they were escaping. They dropped a few hard drives, and now here's the crazy thing: I can't share all the specifics um, on this, but let's just say somehow we found a way to kind of catch up with one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh man, oh, I brought some joy to my heart, but um. That's a little off-camera stuff. Can't really talk about that. But, um, and, and because of that little meetup, got back a, a laptop, got back um, a $5,000 camera, uh, got back uh, another laptop, and like um, a few other things. But like we ended up still losing like over like $20,000 um, worth of stuff. But like at the end of the day, it was like, yo, we left with our lives and you know, we're able to create again we're able to work, we're able to live, we're able to see our family, we're able to like, just do so many things. And so f at the end of the day, you know, it was a learning lesson. Um, so like, here's kind of like what I took away from the whole situation. When my cousin was like telling me like, yo, Joe Berg is not the same. So here's the thing, like if you're a person of like influence, like, um, cause like this was totally like kind of like an inside type of job. I don't know all the, but like, yo, we was in a gated community. We have an electric fence. like. How did they know so much information? Like this, like security tipped off. Like, I don't know all the details, but like, yo, this was some type of like, yo, these guys have, you know, some, you know, things of value. So it's like, if you have a person of influence, I definitely would not recommend staying in a house rental. Stay in a really secure hotel. Um, and yeah, try and be as low key as possible. Like, cause I don't think if you're like a low key person and you're like causing no attention to yourself, if you're not a person of influence, I don't think anything would have happened. Like, if I look at the track record, so David O, you know, a well-known musician, this music director, well-known, like, music director, and the thing is, a lot of these criminals out there, they don't even have any type of conscience, and so they don't care. They just want money, and they're going to do whatever they have to do to get it. And here's the crazy thing. So then when they stole my backpack, um, like, my Toomey bag, they stole the speaker, all that other stuff, they stole my passport. And so now I'm stranded without a passport. And so I have to go to the embassy, get an emergency passport. So, and they, all my debit cards, credit cards, just like are all in that back. Like, it's just a complete mess. But I left with one debit card, one credit card. And so I go to use it at, um, at the embassy and it's declined. I'm like, huh, what, what's going on? And then so when I, I, luckily I have enough cash. And then, um, so I go home and I see these charges. I'm like, online shopping in South Africa. And I see like four or five different charges. I've never had credit card fraud in my entire life. And now for the first time in 30 years of living. So on top of the robbery, I now have credit card fraud and I'm left with like zero credit cards. And the crazy thing, like two days before the robbery, JP, um, 
he got bamboozled at the ATM machine. Like, the guy like finagled his ass, and then next thing you know, he's running off with JP's credit card, and um, he's got like a getaway card. And so it was like, damn, like for real, like, I've, I've traveled for seven years, like pretty much like hiccup free. And, but when I look at the crime statistics for Joburg, it's almost, you know, it's not surprising. There's a reason why they have electric fences. When I was in the Uber, I was like, yo, I need to go to the store. They're like, no, the stores are not open past five o'clock. I was like, why not? They're like, armed robbers. And so this is just my personal experience. And I know this has kind of discouraged you about Joburg, but there are so many beautiful things about Joburg. I would, I would go back to Joburg. I mean, I'd roll like Obama when I come through, but like, you know, I'd come back, you know, for the right situation. And this is like the biggest thing that I want to leave you with. Joburg is not all of the continent of Africa, right? If you go look up the crime statistics for, for Joburg, it's crazy. Like, but Africa is a very big place. And other, with the exception of South Sudan, it's the most dangerous city in um, all of Africa. So that's, you know, probably telling you something. But um, all in all, like, I'm going to be back to Africa. I'm looking forward to doing more projects in Africa um, and dropping more videos. But I had to share this video with you because I would feel bad inside if someone went without, like, they're going in blind and they don't know, like, the full scope of, like, what they're dealing with. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry today. Today's not the most positive video. I've still got love, you know, for, you know, South Africa. I've still got love for Joburg. Most of the people there treated me amazing, treated the team amazing. Like, we had a great time. Like, yo, I had an amazing time. And, um, but it just doesn't, you know, exclude the fact of, like, the real dangers um, that there are in Joburg. And so um, that's it. It's not going to be a, a regular sign-off. But, yo, that's going to be it for today. Next video, though, is going to be a lot more positive than this. And, yo, thank God we made it out alive. Oh, and real quick, um, so I know you're probably wondering about like the raw video. You probably don't see a link in the description yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that video about two days after this video drops. So, you know, just check back and um, you'll see that video. And that's like the raw video, like literally three hours after I had a gun to my head and they're like, yo, we're about to kill you. And I'm like, oh my God. So like, and I walk through show like basically everything in like first person. So you'll see that and I'll upload that two days after um, this video drops.